A lot of people this weekend are going to be watching the Super Bowl. They're going to be right in front of that television. And if you are watching the Super Bowl, if you are a big football fan, you are getting, if not a free ride, then a subsidized ride from those of us who aren't that into sports, those of us who don't watch all that much sports. Now, I, in all admission, I used to watch a heck of a lot of sports. I don't watch nearly as much anymore. I watch some. But a series of new stories have come out looking at why your cable bill is so high, why you're paying more and more for cable seemingly every single year. And the consensus is that the reason you're paying more and more is because those people who do not watch sports are being forced to subsidize those who do watch sports. It's basically the sports tax. That's what it's been called. There's a new story out today about Time Warner Cable. They announced a new long-term deal for the Dodgers sports network at a cost of $7 billion. At the same time, they've raised rates on Los Angeles customers Hikes blamed on the higher costs of programming, with the monthly cost of basic cable rising 8% to 7250. So basically, as the Atlantic magazine put it, if you don't watch sports, TV is a huge ripoff. Where are we going when it comes to cable bills? Where is all this going? Well, here's the stat. The average household already spends $90 a month for cable or satellite TV, and nearly half of that amount, half pays for the sports channels packaged into most services. Here's how your cable bill essentially, the average cable bill, breaks down when it comes to that in terms of what you're paying per channel. Check out this graph from the Los Angeles Times. ESPN costs the average cable customer $5.13 a month. Sportsnet, $3.95 a month. Meanwhile, non-sports channels like CNN, Disney, and MTV cost a fraction of that. One more statistic, if that hasn't driven you crazy already for what you're paying for cable. Here's where all of this is going. The monthly rate for pay TV has been rising at an average of 6% annually and hit 86 bucks a month last year for basic pay and premium channel TV, according to a new report by a market research firm, the NPD Group. The uptick in licensing fees, which are the fees cable and satellite providers pay for programs, you saw those big fees when it comes to ESPN, the sports ones are the big ones. They are driving much of the increase at a time when consumer household income, of course, is hardly budged. At this rate, get this, consumers will be paying an average of 123 bucks a month in 2015 and 200 bucks a month by 2020 for basic cable. Now you can say, well, look, everybody's got a choice. You can just cut the cord, cut your cable bill, just end cable. And you know what? More and more of us are actually doing that. But there's something wrong with a cable system. Because this is the way it is across the cable industry. There's, there's right now, essentially the standard is you have to pay for these basic cable packages that force the non-sports consumer to subsidize the sports consumer. This is essentially a, it's not a free market. It is a rigged market. It is a controlled market. It is an oligopoly where a few big providers control almost all of the market. And in that, we see what happens when there isn't a free market. We see what happens when there is an unregulated, unfree market where just a few big companies can control most of the, most of the situation. It essentially forces one set of customers into an unfair situation. In this case, those who don't watch sports are being forced to subsidize those who do watch sports. Where this is all going, it's anybody's guess. But before you say that just cutting the cord is going to fix this, most market research experts expect that if you, in the future, if you get rid of cable, your television, and you just want to go to internet and you want to watch TV over the internet, essentially it'll all be one price. That whether you take cable or not on the television, if you only take the internet, it will all be one price. Essentially, the system is rigged for higher and higher cable bills, which of course is rigged for higher and higher uh, cost of information flow.